Hail Bacchus! The crew is about to enter the rendezvous. Now, let's go to Captain Clark Brennan for a special message. Take it away, Colleen. Here's Clark! Hail Bacchus, I'm Colleen Seeley here with Clark Brennan, the captain of the crew of Bacchus. Clark, how are you feeling that we finally made it to the Sunday of Bacchus? Excited, energetic, ready for the second show, which is the rendezvous. We had a great ride. 55 years, what a wonderful, wonderful 55 years. Shout out to Mark Dad, who was the original captain, Pip Brennan, and just happened to be following in great footsteps and great 55 years. And now we're looking forward to a great rendezvous and Chicago's playing. It's a great ticket. It's the number one party in the country. And the energy, we're just feeling it. So exciting for tonight. What are you most looking forward to for the rendezvous? So the rendezvous is our second adrenaline rush. I mean, when you come through the doors and you see 10,000 people, it just, it's crazy. And so we're excited. I know all the guys behind me, they're ready to come in here and see their family and friends and just have another second show. And we're looking forward to Chicago and just a great party. Clark, it's that time. Les it le bon temps roule. Let the good times roll, baby. From WWL Louisiana at the Morio Convention Center, it's the Crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous. Good evening, everybody. You have got the best seat in the house tonight for Bacchus 2024. We are inside the Morial Convention Center for the uh, Bacchus Rendezvous, and you've, you've never been here on this side. You've always been in the audience. I've always got to enjoy it with family and friends, catching throws up against those guardrails, but now I get to join with you. It might be their second show. It's there our first, go. and it is the best place to be, as you said. And it's going to be a wonderful night. Whitney is here. Colleen's here. We have all kinds of stuff going on. You'll be down catching all the throws for I'm us. I'm going to be having the best time. I know you have a good seat in the yeah. house. I got the best seat in the house. Uh, I and think I might agree with you. Yeah, I'm going to catch all the things. I'll bring you some. Okay, good. Okay. As long as you come back with some of those socks, girl. I'll come back with something nice for you, but we want socks. Yeah, yes, and yeah. <laughs> there's there's each float. There are 32 floats. Okay. Each one has their own sock. I love it. I'm Center wearing socks, some of the socks, socks right now. I'll show y'all later. Okay, okay. great. <laughs> uh, and and Clark was just saying about how you know big of a year this is. It's their 55th year. Yes. Um, and I was talking to a friend of mine who is in the Endymion Parade. In fact, her, her father uh, started okay, it. Okay, these are uh, fighting words. Why are you bringing up No, Endymion? no, no. The reason I'm saying it, <laughs> they, they compliment <laughs> Bacchus for really opening the door for the Super Cruise and big shows, yeah. things like that. Mm -hmm. They, it was really was just a step out of the norm in the way that Bacchus was created and the way that it's been carried on is so beautiful. And you can tell by the energy we have in the convention center, people show up in their best, ready to have the best time. See yeah. the most beautiful outfits. I have to. The second win is true, though. As soon as they come through, when the police come through, you kind of mm -hmm. get the energy all over again. If you've been out on the route all day, mm -hmm. it's so good to be inside here to watch it all happen again. Yeah, now they had a bit of controversy on the parade route. The, 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 there's there's a, a power line to get knocked down yes. by Napoleon and St. Charles. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, that slowed the parade up for about 30, 45 minutes, something like that. All while we've been trying to beat the rain. I know. It's and, a lot going on this And But we season. beat it, actually. We did. I think that, you know, Bacchus <laughs> talks to Zeus, and they make sure that there I you go. is taking care of Is that how that works? <laughs> yes. I think that's how they it had works, to right? <laughs> he said, I'll give you a little wine, Zeus, and make it happen. And so we're glad that they did. And Bacchus has a very storied history. I, I was yes. talking about, you know, they kind of changed the way that, uh, uh, you know, crews went. They, they brought in uh, celebrity royalty. Uh, it was just a, a game changer, mm -hmm. and over the years they have grown so big, it's so much fun. Now we have several super crews, and they all kind of got the start after Bacchus. I agree, and just so everyone knows, my husband, my father, my brother-in-law, all their friends, everybody's on the Bacchus Gator. I don't know if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing that I told you, <laughs> but we are a Bacchus I'm family. Did uh, you tell them that I'm going to be out there? I didn't. Oh, okay. And I also didn't tell them where we were located. Well, they can see the bright <laughs> lights. We have bright here. lights all around us, and oh, I, I think your husband no. might throw a bag or something up to us. I'm hoping that at this point in the game, he that doesn't they are even, right. yeah, <laughs> that he doesn't, they're gonna that be, he can't they're throw gonna that far. They're going to be good. So we'll see. But, it, I mean, it is a family event for so many families who make this a yearly tradition to come out and celebrate. And, and then with Bacchus and its true fashion and tradition, you invite friends from out of town or tourists, you know, people who you want to really get that full Mardi Gras feel and so we're getting started now yeah and I'll tell you what the the the, the pendant I'm wearing tonight mm -hmm. okay was I was wondering to be, about this I was given to be on, on on Friday uh, 
by the, the gentleman of the crew who designed it. It's beautiful. It's a writer's uh, pendant. That's amazing. And all the writers get one, mm -hmm. and they were nice enough to give me one. So oh, I love that. Well, I they I did say you did get the pages to say uh, hail. Oh, Eric. hail Eric! I did. So <laughs> I think you deserve a little bit of something. Well, Are you, know, you secretly the king? <laughs> Secretly, yes, yes. It's, surprise. It's, surprise. It's, surprise. It's, surprise. It's me and Kevin <laughs> Dillon. Uh, he'll be joining us a little later. It's great Cocaine. to see that. And, and um, you're talking about the pages. There are, I think, 19 or 20 pages this year who ride on the King's float. You've got to be uh, at least, ten, uh, I think, a uh, maximum 10 years old. Mm -hmm. My oldest son rode on, on the, the King's float with Will Ferrell Did he? 12 oh, years that's ago. That's a good one yeah, to that's do. That's a great one to yeah. ride with. Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Yeah. And uh, Bacchus has some great kings, speaking of. We've had Drew Brees. You've had Will Ferrell. Last year, I thought Josh, uh, tell me about those last names. Dumal? Oh, Adam, Adam Devine yes. was last year. Oh, oh, gosh, he was so good. And the he year was before fun. was Josh. And they were, they've were they all just been so fun and really enjoyed it. It's fun to see, you know, Hollywood stars be able to come back and take part in the New Orleans rich tradition and just be so joyous and appreciative. And they always leave saying that they love the city. Oh, yeah. And that's the best thing you yes. can do, right, Today, for Kevin the city? Dillon was at the hospital, and he told them, he said, New Orleans is the best city. There we go. We'll take it. it. Well, for those of us of a certain age, we remember, you know, hearing about all the, the – Great stars in the early days, the, the Danny Kays, the, the uh, Jackie Gleason, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Bob Hope. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Let's take a listen to the color guard as they come into the auditorium. And there we just saw the Marine Corps band just go by. Uh, they'll come around the whole, because they, they march around the whole uh, uh, convention center. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they'll do the, uh, the uh, national anthem. And we'll take a pause for that. It'll do be the second play in the national anthem tonight. We've already heard it once with a nice guitar rendition. Oh, a right. little bit earlier, yeah. yes. That is right. Um, drum Major Staff Sergeant Brad Rerig, and they formed on November 10th, 1775. Rich history there. I'm an Army girl, but I will support the Marines, well, the Marines walking the Marines, through so. here. <laughs> yeah, we got to appreciate them, especially coming in here. an Army girl, too. Okay, see, I knew you liked you. <laughs> oh. I'm the only one. Well, my girl? dad, my dad was in the Navy, so <laughs> there we go. I get, I get so just military Force, support in general. ROTC, so there, here we okay. go. We got a military <laughs> contingency here. There you go. Well, we're happy to see them in here, and we're just waiting. Uh, they'll be doing the national anthem, and yeah, we get to see the se the second round. We get to hear this. So when you come early to Bacchus, you get uh, special treatment. And it is fun. You know, I said at the opening of the show that that we're giving you guys the best seat in the house, where Whitney's going to be in a little while down on the line there. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's one of the best seats because. When they come in, uh, the parade, uh, the floats rather, they are very generous. So I think they save it for they oh, saved they it for me. Uh, well, then they, and, specifically, well, at the end, <laughs> they want to get rid of all the stuff they yes. have because they don't want to take anything down. Oh, oh they yeah. reload. They do. Okay, listen, mm -hmm. I brought a bag for that reload. Good. Okay, Good. I have a bag. And you know, you can always ask for a bag too. At some point, exactly. they'll dump when them I, out. When and I they, fill up one, exactly, I'll ask them for a second. And I'm sure you could get one of them off the float and have them help you carry it somewhere too. Period. They're gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Yes. And we got the. Uh, presentation of the colors, the color guard uh, walking with the uh, Marine flag and the mm -hmm. U.S. flag. And uh, we'll be getting ready for the for the national anthem and then we'll see the floats start coming in and making Can't their way into them. the convention center. It's going to be a fun night. Mm -hmm. A lot of great floats. Over 1,700 men riders who are here and the theme this year is take a number so they've had some pretty creative spins on it. I definitely like it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I know it's Jimmy Buffett of course. I, well, I, did, I did get those I got those. I got those socks. Ah, and oh. I heard that they're throwing beer bongs. Okay. Okay, please. I need one. Would of those. you like one? I'll, I'll try to get that for <laughs> you. I'm a classy okay. lady, oh, yeah. but who doesn't take, love a good beer bong? Let me get a list. What all? What all do you need? What do you want, Eric? Um, Make a list. <laughs> I, I got a bunch of socks Friday. Okay, so, so I, the socks are mine. Uh, the, I'm keeping the, the socks. The beer bong. The beer bong was pretty cool. We okay. demonstrated how to use it on Saturday. Oh. I I I, <laughs> I took a Bacchus football and threw it to uh, 
uh, the Bacchus mascot. Okay. Uh, oh, I remember. We had a yep. lot of fun. You did that on air. Yeah, that and I was like, where fun. is this going? But it looked great, and he caught it. He, he ran the, I don't know, the pick or whatever Actually, it was, the, yeah. the, the two guys who were the, the uh, Bacchus and the uh, Baca Gator, mm -hmm. uh, they were, they were uh, mascots up at LSU. Really? Yeah. But is it one of those things where you don't get to find out who they are? All right, hold on. And this crowd is revved up. Uh, nobody does it better than the U.S. Marine Corps Band. It's just nice to see them here. They march in a bunch of parades, too, mm -hmm. so it, it's, it's just good to have them. And I love when they, they present the colors, and then now they're getting ready to march out of here. And when they leave, then the first float of Bacchus 2024 comes in. And just being a veteran myself, watching these bands, I mean, it's so nostalgic. It's just yeah. the, how clean they are, how much they practice. You know, just it's, it's such an honor. And it's an honor to get to be in their presence. So happy to have them. There's the Marine Corps. There they go. In the halls of Montezuma. Gentlemen, guests from around the globe, are you ready to hail Bacchus in 2024 with Take a Number, Please? Hail Bacchus! For 55 years, the Bacchus traditions of famous kings remains strong. Modern day stars and media sensations have been preceded by world famous entertainers music pioneers and legends international stars have all said hail bacchus kings from film 
Broadway, radio, television, sporting world, iconic actors. Hail Bacchus. Even a second generation king has said, Hail Bacchus. The parade goers marvel at the sights of 32 floats, over 1,700 riders, with over 250,000 doubloons tossed, and tons of beads, themed throws, with over 100,000 socks for a night to remember. Iconic signature and themed floats have now traveled from Napoleon, along St. Charles Avenue, over to Canal Street, and up to Julia, to the delight of an enthusiastic crowd of over one million people. And now, here in the rendezvous, just for you... Hail Bacchus! Are you ready for something completely different, like more bubbles? Dog hat, dog hat, who needs a dog hat? Plenty of dog hats. And more, we got gnomes. Let's get this party started. Hail Bacchus! Ladies and gentlemen, Hail King Bacchus, Kevin Dillon, and your crew of Bacchus. All right, uh, we are ready, and Bacchus is going to be rolling in a few seconds, so we'll take a quick break and be right back. We'll get to see the king, Kevin Dillon, so we'll be right back. Well, when, uh, when Kevin Dillon was on Entourage, they called him Johnny Drama, and he's giving us a little drama tonight. Yeah, we're, we're still just, waiting for him to come in. We're still waiting. He's just making him mysterious, but we love Johnny Drama, go. so we'll wait on him. We will wait on him. Uh, but uh, band's coming in. We're still waiting for them to come in. Mm -hmm. oh, we have the, the, uh, uh, the bagpipes coming in. The U.S. Homeland Security Pipe and Drum Band Director Agent Bradley Kirkpatrick. They actually formed... Um, after September 11th, and so they perform all around the country. And what's really unique about them is that these members don't actually often practice together, which is very different, right, for a band yeah. who's going to perform. They're from all over the country, so they just get together and put it together. And boy, I'd say for a group who doesn't practice together very often, they're pretty in sync. Well, I've always admired uh, bagpipe musicians, because let's take a listen to them. They're great.
crowd getting their uh, beauty shots in as the camera comes by. Uh, they were in entertained by the, uh, the bagpipes, and uh, we're being entertained by everybody here tonight. I said earlier, and I, I, it's the adult prom. I know you got yeah. a little nervous when I said that. <laughs> it's the adult prom here, which is it's just better than ever, right? Because everybody is kind to each other and has a good time. But you get to dress up and just to get glam for a night and spend it with your friends and family. What's better than that? And you know what's pretty amazing? We had the threat of rain, so mm. they wanted to move everything up a little. Uh, they rolled early and then got stopped at uh, St. Charles and Napoleon. Um, for about I think, half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. But they got by and they, they missed the rain. They got spared. It was I good. Know. I know. It's good to see everything go well. And, and a lot of that is because of the uh, state troopers, New Orleans police, who are all out there making sure that everybody's kept safe. Because I know with those down power lines and the lights that were messed up, they were really basically having to direct traffic yeah. as the parade is going. So we want to thank all those uh, men and women, service women and women, the ambulances who are out, all those first responders, police officers, doing such a good job to make sure everybody has a safe and happy Mardi Gras. And for those of you who are out, I, did, I didn't see how big the crowds were today. I know yesterday, uh, for the parades, because the weather, weather was mm -hmm. just great. That was beautiful. Uh, it, it was, there were big crowds. Some, some people were saying biggest crowds they've ever seen. Mm -hmm. All right. One of the greatest bands of all time. There they are. Southern University Marching Band. They are, they're not just famous in this country. They're famous all over the world. Yeah, they've actually performed at six Super Bowls, which I know the Super Bowl, I think it just wrapped up. So for anyone who's a Chiefs fan. Well, actually, they were out there. Celebrate for you. They were out there wow, okay. uh, this year. They had to come back early because they were they were mm -hmm. contracted to march with the uh, with Bacchus this year. So they went out, taped something early, and then flew back. And they're here tonight. They've had a great ride. Think about this, they've been out all night and they're still sounding amazing. Sound amazing. Let's take a listen. Yeah. did enjoy hearing the Southern University Band. They call them the Human Jukebox for a reason because they're just that good. 275 members and you felt every bit of it and the nine dancing dolls. And now we have a special treat entering the convention center, the moment everybody's been waiting for, that 55th King, Kevin Dillon. And it, it's, it's the ride of a lifetime for the Kings and especially for all the kids who are the the Bacchus pages. Mm -hmm. And they get to ride with the King, they throw, they have a wonderful time, they get to you know, have have you know have a, a really kind of intimate conversations and stuff like that. So it's just it's just wonderful for them. Uh, a friend of mine whose whose son is on the on the King's Boat this year uh, brought some uh, uh, video of her son throwing stuff. It was just it was just cool to see. I mean, how many children outside of New Orleans get to say they have an experience like that? That is true. That's and the and perks that of true. being here, right? And it really is. It really is a big deal. <laughs> Look at the, the list gets bigger and bigger every year for people to want to be or have their sons mm -hmm. be a Bacchus page. And there's Kevin, yeah, there's he's, had a, he's had a great day today. 
Hope that we're going to talk to him a little later, but he's having a time of a life. Looks like he's uh, cheering or he, cheer, well, cheersing with go. the crowd there. He looks like a, like royalty, doesn't he? He did, and I actually saw on his Instagram just a bit ago him posting, you know, every moment of it, and and had Whitney Miller who was up here a little bit ago. She's down there in the crowd. I'm sure she's already caught a number of throws, but she's said that he was at the hospital earlier and was just talking about how great New Orleans is. The city has embraced him. And I think that's what's really great about our city is we really do welcome tourists, welcome our our different kings, especially these Bacchus kings who come in, big Hollywood stars, right? And yeah. and they get to enjoy the crowd just celebrating him as a king. And, and I know Johnny Drama here, as most people know him from Entourage, it's a joy to have him here. And we saw, we had coverage of when he got here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they met him at the airport. It was fun. Then when he got to the Hilton Hotel, um, boy, the crowd was just loving him. He was throwing balloons and things. He had a great time. How could you not? All the families welcome you. I mean, they really treat you ex exactly as it is a king. They welcome you from the moment you land in New Orleans. Families celebrate you. Everyone is just honoring you in this moment. And so this really here is the, a moment of a lifetime. He's doing pretty good at he, getting he those actually, throws yeah. out there, too, I'll say, making sure each element of the crowd gets something. And he looks like he's having the time of his life. And we, we see on the on the side of the screen some of the some of the shows he's been in. Mm -hmm. uh, most of us remember most of us remember him for uh, Entourage, where he was Johnny Drama. Uh, <laughs> but when he got here to town, uh, he welcomed the crowds at, uh, on Friday. Then uh, yesterday, went to Children's Hospital, uh, and it's so nice to see these kings do that. Mm -hmm. And the the kids at Children's Hospital just love Look it. Look at that! Yeah, it's so special, and for them to take the time as they're here entering the city, you know, putting that partying and that moment on hold and you can see they have the brass band and he already has those doubloons to pass out and so they really treat it for those children and those families who maybe can't make it out to the parade route. They are not forgotten by any means and I think that's so beautiful. And that is, that is wonderful and he's enjoying every minute of that. I see it. And one of the reasons they've done this for so long, there you have Children's Hospital welcome. <laughs> Welcomed uh, him too. Bacchus 55. And there he is uh, speaking at the hospital. Mm -hmm. It's just really nice, and, and the kids really do love it. And he's got kids of his own, so I'm sure for him that was just a special treat to be able to get out there. And you can hear those bands really ramping up now. I think we just got a quick glimpse of the riding lieutenant who also come in just behind uh, the float there. And the riding lieutenants, my father-in-law is actually one. They hop off the horse and get to ride through the yeah. convention center. But for them, it's about that element as, you know, you would bring in Bacchus and the Kings <laughs> and they're sort of, they're protecting him. And that was a smooth move there by Johnny Drama. That was pretty good. <laughs> I love it there. I'm sure he's yelled victory a number of times, too, if you watch him in anything, you know what I mean. But nominated for three primetime Emmys, so, you know, a brother of acting, uh, actor Matt Dillon, so that, that fame is in the family. Yeah, and he's a, he's a, he's a really talented actor. And this crowd is loving him. They're loving oh, our camera that. coming by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. And that's what's great about Bacchus, and that's what's great about Mardi Gras and New Orleans during this time. It's, it's for everyone. It's for, you know, children all the way up to, like, my great-grandparents celebrate and to have so many people just take part in getting to enjoy life and celebrate is the most beautiful thing. So we just had those riding lieutenants pass us, and, oh, I can see my father-in-law from there. <laughs> Mississippi Valley State Mean Green Marching Machine. Wow, look at the performance. Oh, Let's yeah. take a listen.
right, there you have the Mean Green Marching Machine from Mississippi Valley State University. And they sound great, and we will be right back. And we are back, back, Brianna. We're looking at uh, the signature float. This is the, these are the officers of Bacchus. This is float number two. That means we have 30 to go. <laughs> See how good my math is? I like that. Yeah. I can't do math. That's well, why I talk a for a living. calculator? <laughs> the human calculator. And this is such a special float. And I loved because when you talked to uh, Captain Clark Brennan, he had said this float is big, and this isn't even one of the biggest. But it is a really cool float where you have the officers. You have Bacchus, who is smiling over the crew with that Chalice, of course, he's got to have that. And look at all the stuff they're throwing there. Having a good time, Very special medallion beads. There you go. And these crews reload before they come into the convention center because they know this is their crew, this is their family, their friends, and so they can't uh, they can't be empty by the time that they get to the rendezvous. Well, since the theme this year is take a number, please, we're keeping up up with the uh, numbers on the floor. Nice floor number two. There's Whitney. She's catching her throws. I saw her just there in the corner, so they made sure the cameraman got some, too. But it's still hanging on the camera. Spread the love. <laughs> and that's good. And, you know, we, we have tables all around us. People have left their tables. They're down uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the line so they can see all the parades. Oh, there's. The rows. And I see Clark Brennan just there behind us. I don't know if the camera can pick it up just yet, but he's right up there. I see him tossing stuff. Have, uh, he was throwing some cups. He was getting some beads out. So, you know, he's got to really enjoy this something that his father started and, and Clark's family is a is a is a big part of Bacchus his dad Pip one of the founders of Bacchus back in 1969 mm -hmm. uh, and they, they really wanted to bring more people into New Orleans they wanted to increase the hospitality industry and they they did that and in a big way for a long time the balls were just reserved for those social elites and sure. it was a small group and so I know that him and his family said that they wanted to be able to bring everybody in so that they could really celebrate everything we're about. And I think we're going to check in with Colleen Seedley, who's down there getting the best view in the house. Hello, Colleen. Hey, guys. I just ran into two new friends, Larkin and Liz. Ladies, they are from Fort Worth, Texas. How did you get involved in Bacchus? She got me involved because her brother's very involved, and our husbands are riding tonight. Our husbands are on the Bacawapa float, so we come for them to get off the float and watch the parade. It's yeah, amazing. Yeah, but we've been here since Friday and had a great time. Bacawapa. What are you most looking forward to for this evening? What'd you say? What are you most looking forward to for this evening? I love Chicago. I'm very about to say seeing Chicago. I, I love Chicago. And I just love seeing all the floats. I love that Bacchus has the floats that are the same every year, but then seeing all the different ones that they come up with and all the stuff. It's always stuff. a lot of fun. Yeah. What float are your husbands on? The Baca Waka. Number the, the whale. The whale. 27, the whale. Whale. So if you're not familiar with the Baca Waka, that is the whale. That is one of their classes that will be coming through. And we'll be finding more friends and rendezvousing together shortly. Happy Monica. We also have Telegate Sega behind us. Back to you guys. All right, thank you very much, Colleen. Uh, those, those two women are having a great night tonight. Uh, as we watch the uh, Talladega College Tornado Marching Band all the way from Talladega, Alabama. comes the title float. I call the signature float. <laughs> Had the title on it, but the title is um, Take a Number, Please. And they, they said they got the idea because when you go to the butcher shop or the laundry or uh -huh. whatever, you got to take a number and, and wait. Uh-oh, I think Whitney's getting some good beats there. They caught her. They're seeing the camera. Oh, and they, they said that all of it adds up to a great time. So I like the idea behind there. They're always so creative with the themes. I know when it's closer to Valentine's Day, they kind of stick with that theme. But otherwise, they're always very creative and very strategic. Always love to see what the theme is each year. So they're throwing clown shoes and light-up yo-yos. I'm sure those will both become very useful. 
Yeah. And then we've got okay. number 10 here. Who's up next? University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. They are playing for us. Let's take a look. They, they look they look wonderful. They look. Doc, director John Graham. So it's uh, second oldest state college there. Let's take a listen. I know she's already catching tons of throws. What do you have, girl? Okay. Socks. All right, so you know my goal <laughs> is to get the socks, okay? Yes. And so far I've gotten one sock from every single float. I want all 32 tonight, okay? So I've got four so far. And then I didn't wear any necklaces tonight because I'm gonna light up the night with the with the beads from these floats. So I need more. I only have one last time. It almost took my neck off. So we're gonna we're gonna get some more beads and stuff tonight. Everyone is having a good time. I feel it in the stands over here. Everybody's excited. And over here, some of my girls are excited to be here. <laughs> we got another float coming down right now. There we go, there we go. So, I know you said, tell me what you wanted again. At this point, I'll take whatever You'll you can. You'll take anything? Yeah, because okay. it's all gonna be good. And I see that one of the, the light-up beads you have are the riding lieutenant beads. So those yes. are a really good pair to have. All right, Ooh, go Bacchus get those socks, girl. This is we, we, they always give you something for the they kitchen. They do, yeah. And okay. they, got, they oh, have they got useful things. Oh, a oh, yeah. spatula. Yeah, oh, look at you this. need that. Look good with this. That's practical. Do y'all have any socks? <laughs> We're looking for socks. Do you oh, know? Keep on begging, Whitney. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Y'all got any socks? Can Honestly, there sock? is no shame in begging when it comes to Mardi Gras. You're there to get what you need. Hey. And that that Bacchantality float, that Bacchantality float, this kind of says everything about about the Bacchus parade because uh, they've been there for years. Oh, it was started because they wanted to bring more people sucks. down to fill up restaurants, things like that. Oh, hotels. look at the front of that! Oh, yeah, I didn't no. even catch that. The lobster there yeah, with all the boiling. or the is it a crawfish or a lobster? I can't. Oh, it's a crawfish. Of course crawfish, it is. Yeah. Come on now, Brianna. It's just a big crawfish. <laughs> Excuse me. What was I thinking? We are not Red Lobster. We are New Orleans. Oh, they have some very good light-up ones, Whitney. Oh, and there are lots of people from the Hospitality Foundation on the uh, the, the Bacchantality float. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of chefs. I remember Emerald Lagasse used to ride this. You know, I actually saw him the other yes. day. He was eating, so I didn't want to bother him, but he well, was just downtown enjoying Mardi Gras, I'm sure. I had a friend of mine go to uh, his restaurant where his son EJ mm -hmm. is the chef now, and just could, and he's a chef. Uh, he couldn't he couldn't rave enough about how wonderful it was. And just, Emerald's got to be so proud of the son, EJ. Oh, I bet he is. I mean, it's so great when you can keep something in the family like that. And not just because you're in the family, but with talent. And I know so many people who have raved, so. Yeah. So special. All right. Let's see who we have next now. Oh, We've the got St. Marching, Marching 100. Marching 100. Of course, yeah. I couldn't mess that up for Brandon. They've been amazing. Let's listen to them, because they're the best.
one of my favorite floats, the uh, uh, Bacchus Chariot. And look at the stuff they're throwing. Wow, also a signature float here. It depicts Bacchus with a leopard-drawn chariot. I love the leopards. I'm a big fan yeah. of the animal print. And also uh, Drew Brees, King Float in 2010. Yeah, they switched it up for him because he wanted to bring a bunch of his friends on. They needed a bigger float. And it was the only time that's been done. So, yep. yeah, Drew Brees deserves that, though. And also, I just want to note, I'm always so thankful that we keep the camera there on the bands when they're performing and we cut to them because you guys should see me dancing up here. It's not cute, but I'm having such oh, a good you're doing time. Good. And Thank you. People, <laughs> people in the audience are doing the same thing, Brianna. How can you not dance? And I'll tell you what, you talk about a band that's in high demand. The St. Augustine Marching 100, very high demand. They are so good. Yeah. Uh, they march all over the country. And I don't know how many uh, Mardi Gras parades they're in, but it's a bunch. I know I saw them in a Demian. I saw them on Saturday. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're, just, they're just all over the place. And they've been in the Rose Bowl. They've been Macy's Day Parade. They are so just clean and sound so good. It's always great to hear them. I'm, I'm kind of surprised that the uh, that the Southern Jaguars didn't ask to walk right before this. They should have. <laughs> yes. And this float was redesigned in 2018, and they're throwing glass beads, which are my favorite thing to catch. I catch one every year, and I try to keep them, especially for my daughters, to say each different Mardi Gras that they have. And up next, we have LB Landry High School Marching Band, and they also uh, and sound my, amazing. My, my, my old buddy, Wilbert Rollins, is, uh, the is the leader of the band. He directs the band. Uh, I, I went over with him and a bunch of students to Japan where we did a musical exchange and Wilbur just was the best. Wow, that's really special. I didn't know that. Yeah. The Charging Buccaneers, the pride of Algiers, and they actually have 100 members after they merged in 2013, so let's take a listen. Got to give credit to Landry. They killed it tonight. They were wonderful. Amazing. And we'll be right back after the break. Here is float number 13, three musketeers. Uh, that's a, it's 
I love the story of the Three Musketeers. All for um, one, one for all. Right, and and they did just they just had a wonderful uh, uh, run. They've been in, uh, they did movies with them. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, fun fact. Now I know what to get you. There you, you need go. A little special treat. This is Float Six, and they're throwing plush swords and pillows. So you know a combination you always oh, need. It looks like Whitney might have got some. Oh, she got some there you go. Fox, that's almost, what matters. I almost didn't get these. He couldn't get the package open, but we got it open. I got, oh, and some more socks. Okay. Now. By the way, Whitney, where yes. are you going to put all that stuff? I got a bag down here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Eric, does your son need this? Oh, he would love that. Hey. Okay, these are light up. I got a special delivery just for him. Oh, you're okay. good, Whitney. <laughs> you're so um, You'll make a seven-year-old very happy. Hey, that's what I'm here to do. I aim to please these men. You feel it? It is so nice. It's getting a little hot. But that kitchen towel from the hospitality float, that's going to let me, you know, cool off just a little bit. There you go. Let's listen into the band. John F. Kennedy High School marching band. Saw them in, uh, in the Muses Parade. They killed it there. They're knocking it out of the park tonight. enjoying uh, Kennedy High School. They're doing a great job tonight. As I said, I saw them uh, playing in uh, Muses Parade, watching them tonight. Uh, and again, they're knocking it out of the park. This is director Keith Thomas. The school actually closed after Katrina, but then finally reopened in 2018. They've got 60 students who now make up the band. And it's always amazing to see what these kids do. Yeah. Marching in these parades, staying so clean, staying professional. It's demanding what they do and perform on such a high level. We love to have it. Ought to be young and being in a band <laughs> and marching for but the parade were like six or seven miles or something like that. Yeah, I've just stood up here for like 20 minutes and my feet hurt, so I'm <laughs> very impressed by them. All, All right, right, we love to see this one here. First and 10. This is Float 7, so we got a little bit of out of order with the bands, but Float 7 is, of course, Based off football here, we see the referee dressed up. We see the painted on the side now. Uh, depicts the New Orleans Saints and LSU Tigers. They're actually throwing penalty flags. This is the only time I will find it acceptable for them to throw that <laughs> with the Saints or the Tigers. Yeah, there's Whitney trying to get some more socks. And I wonder if they're she giving her something. socks. Oh, she's got a lot of good stuff there. She's going to need more than one bag. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, there's those penalty flags. Oh, they've got some good beats, too. Light up beats. Love to see those. All right. Colleen's uh, down there in the thick of it all. Colleen, what do you got? Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Mr. Brandon Walker. I'm used to seeing you at 3 o'clock in the morning, oh, not no. late at night. I know. I don't. Why'd you call me over? Because you're a part of our fam. Look, I already got you some socks, baby. Ooh, I got some. Whitney, we're having a competition on how many we can collect, all right? What are you guys looking forward to for this evening, Brandon? Wait, I didn't hear you. What would you say? Yeah, so just being here, being a part of Mardi Gras, this is my first time back home in 18 years, at least, for Mardi Gras. Uh, time to spend time with family, to be a part of the experience, and that's what the holiday is all about. That's what I found, like people that are from here that have moved away, they're back here. I was yeah. speaking with another lady from Mandeville area, now she lives in Texas, and it's just amazing to see everybody back together. It's very family orientated, and we're so excited to be a part of this Bacchus experience. Well, glad you guys are having fun. By the way, when the uh, the first and 10 float came by, we're watching Jesuit High School right now, my oldest son's alma mater. Um, uh, Jaden Daniels the, was on the front of the float, and they also had a, a little Heisman trophy behind him. I love that. I didn't even see that. We yeah. missed that. Oh, I'm glad you saw that. That's great. Yeah, our most recent Heisman trophy winnie there. Jay yeah, Daniels. no, and congrats to him. Absolutely. So we got Jesuit High School here, the Blue Jay Band performing. 
Idle close, making one more round. If you think you're having deja vu, you're not. You yeah. did just see them a minute ago. But hey, it's the title float, and they've got throws to throw, so they're making another loop around. And then it's funny because from our location, when the floats do the floats do leave, they go down to the other side of the convention center, then they come back behind our screen here. So we get to enjoy them more than once. We do. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, li I like this yep. one. Tidal float was uh, backed by popular demand, and this is Breeze float. This one here? Yes. Why? This is uh, nine and a half. Platform nine and three quarters, rather. <laughs> I thought maybe you you ever wear shoes that high? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're clever. <laughs> I, I, yeah, well, I know it's Harry Potter, but I didn't. I, you know I, was, just, I was just having fun. Actually, you're, you're not wrong. I do love my heels tall. Today, I just snuck on some sneakers, but this is the uh, obviously themed after uh, Harry Potter, and I see all the different elements here of the Hogwarts Express, and they look pretty clean too. I wonder what their well, signature socks. So Whitney is in heaven. Oh, and Colleen, there you go. they have a competition, so they'll be able to get those. Only way to catch the Hogwarts Express, right? Well, and of course, Harry Potter, written by J.K. Rowling. Uh, uh, Harry Potter made her a billionaire. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going right. to say she made Harry Potter a billionaire, but no, you're right. The way no, you no, said no. it was proper. She got the money. Harry gets the fame. <laughs> this is fun. And look at the amount of beads that they are throwing. Oh, no, they I are know. trying to offload whatever they still had. And he's got all those around his neck, too. Yeah. You need to throw them faster. And here comes Edna Carr, high school band. Team bust him up. Director Christopher Herrero, located, of course, on the West Bank. One New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Foundation High School Brass Competition. So award-winning band, as we will appropriately call them. Let's take a listen.
I love watching these marching bands. As you know, on the WWL Louisiana Morning News, we've been highlighting a lot of the bands who uh, march in all these parades. And all these schools march in a whole bunch of parades. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I watch them. I mean, the energy level is so high. The baton twirlers, can you imagine twirling a baton for six or seven miles? Absolutely not. I can't even <laughs> imagine holding one and throwing it standing still for I a second. Know. I'm glad you mentioned that because Liam McNeil, our morning reporter, has just been doing such a good job at showcasing these bands and talking about the work that goes into yeah. it and how much pride they have for what they do. And so watching these bands, I'm thinking about every, every school that we talk to, St. Paul, Edna Carr, John Arrett, and yeah. you get to see that behind the scenes and then knowing all the work they're putting in to lead up to this time of the year, these parades, and I mean, to watch those dancers is yeah, impressive. It's got more. What and, you know, did she these, just get? Most of these bands me. will be doing other parades, you know, tomorrow and then right, that Right, that's Tuesday. not over yet. Whitney is looking out. She's yeah. got some really good stuff. I'm there gonna have, have to go the, through and pick the them. Bacamore. <laughs> it's the signature float, passion for love, life, and of course, wine. I, I was uh, I was here in the convention center on Friday morning. We were walking around looking at all the floats. A lot of the floats stayed the same, but a lot of are redone every year. When I was talking to Barry Kern, um, it was just so neat to hear the behind story, the backstory on all the floats. I'm trying to see what's the take a number element of this one. Am I slow? Um, you know, that's a darn good question. I mean, I love the float either way, and I'm not going to knock it. I was just wondering if I was, you know, I was thinking Amore, but no, that's love. Well, either way, it's gorgeous. It could and be I the, love it, their costume. It could be the story of somebody's love life. Take a number, please. <laughs> okay, okay, you went to a plate. Yeah, but I wasn't <laughs> counting. All right, they're counting. No, that's a really great flow. And I love that they redo, re repurpose them and find ways to showcase them depending on the theme. That's a really beautiful yeah. thing. And a lot of them stay the same. You don't want to see the Baca, Baca you know, well, uh, Baca Kong. And the Baca Gator. The Baca Gator. You know? you know, a lot of these floats you do want to see every year because they're just so unique. And they're so much a part of Bacchus and they want those signature floats to stay the same. Yeah, so I guess com Cupid is a companion of Bacchus when we're talking about mythology. So it makes sense that we always have something to do with the more love and keep it on it. There you go. Oh, this is my this is my buddy, uh, uh, oh. Derek Cab's group, Roots of Music. Uh, they were founded after uh, Katrina. Derek, Derek Cab was with the Rebirth Brass Band at the time. Oh, wow. Um, he has since a left legend. and does full time on this, but he got to be CNN's Man of the Year or Person of the Year after Katrina. He's done really wonderful work. And this is a band that a number of kids hope to be a part of. They have 140 students, but get this, 400 on a wait list just yeah. to be a part of this room. So for you know, for the performers who are in it, it's coveted. Let's take a listen. We can't say enough about the Roots of Music. They have done such good work for so many kids in this town. We'll be right back. More to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous on WWL Louisiana from the Morio Convention Center. And okay, welcome Brianna, on back. Quick quiz. Can you okay. name the 12 days of Christmas? Mm, <laughs> only if I start singing and nobody wants that. Some turtle doves. Uh, yeah. Five golden rings. There you go. 
Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to sing for you. <laughs> oh, this is a fun one. And we're bringing that up because it is the 12 days of Christmas. This is Float Tin. And, of course, they look great. They've got the penguins across it. And I think they probably have each element of the 12 days is what I'm guessing because yeah. I'm seeing all the different numbers there. Well, and we like having I said that penguins. I think they're turtle doves. <laughs> and 12th night is such an important date in the carnival season because... Twelfth night after Christmas is when the carnival season starts. Yeah, okay. So everybody at Carwood, I just did. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> They're throwing light All up right. Santa hats. Carver so High School. Life. They're a big band, too. Director Eric French, Patrick Williams. They're in the Desire neighborhood. 90 students here. And, and they are putting on a performance. There you go. They're meh. Their mascot is the Rams. Let's get over to Colleen. Woo! Colleen, what do you have for us? I have all types of friends over here, y'all. We just keep uh -oh. on coming. Okay, so we have William from Richmond, Virginia. Now he lives in New Orleans. And then Andrew, who's from New Orleans and now living in Nashville, Tennessee. So like we've been mentioning, they're from all over the place. And this is William's first ride this year. How was your experience? My experience was absolutely wonderful. I mean, this town is just so full of culture and just an explosion of excitement. It truly is a remarkable setting to ride in Bacchus. And, um, the viewers just absolutely love it as well, right? I do. I am a fourth year medical student at Tulane, and it is the highlight of my four, four years at Tulane to enjoy this beautiful experience. Yeah, and these guys just got off the float, so they are so pumped up from all the energy from riding this evening. And Andrew, tell us about your experience. Oh, I had the best ride of my entire life. I, I, I really think that I had the best ride of my entire life tonight. I've only ridden more times than I can count if I'm being honest with you, but fantastic ride, beautiful woman, beautiful friends. We're good to go. Thank you, guys. All right, let's take a listen to the band now. I don't. So you I, got the moves, Eric. I've uh, seen you. But you know, stay, I, I always say a man's got to know his limitations. <laughs> hey, no one to hold him. No we'll pick, we'll pick it up for you. Don't worry. <laughs> Whitney, you're having such a good time. I, I can am. tell. Oh, how are the socks going, though? Are we collecting okay, all we, of them? We're collecting all. I think I only missed one, but they had ran out of socks. Oh. And yeah. I, I'm going to find them, though. Don't worry. I'm Somebody will do a little sure trade. Will. Somebody sure. will do something, right? Baka Kong is right, Baka Kong is right behind us. Right now, this big old gorilla right here in the middle of the, the aisle here. I think this is one of the favorite ones. I have um, some of their socks from last year. You were trying to invoke Shaka Khan there. I was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we just saw Blaine Kern Jr. walk by, uh, yeah. said hello to us. Uh, he's putting on this whole show tonight. Um, and, and they do a great work. His brother, Barry Kern, is, uh, you know, built all the floats and everything is taken over the business. So the Kern family is still huge. In, uh, in Carnival. Yeah, it was so sweet for him to come by and take a moment to say hi to us. So that was special. But as Whitney mentioned, this another signature flow here. You can't confuse this one with anything, right? The Baca Con. Uh, this is Float 11, keeping in the theme tonight. They're going with three Kongs. And we said we said it's big. This is a 133 foot <laughs> long tandem float. Yeah, this is this is ginormous. I mean, fitting though for the theme, right? Throwing calm yeah. cups and some medallion beads. So we'll have to see what Whitney catches because I can see her right there in the bottom right corner. Look how small she looks. 
compared to this ginormous float. Wow. That, this is always one of my favorite floats in the, in, uh, the Bacchus Parade. It's a great one. The three Kongs. I'm seeing well, them there. Well, the whole family Kong, you know. All right, having a good time, <laughs> That guy's too. Going, yeah. <laughs> I love seeing the riders having a good time. And, and just getting, you know, Colleen talking to those other riders there from Richmond, Virginia, you can see that Bacchus has truly succeeded at their goal of just bringing in people from all over the nation and letting them have a good time and take part in Mardi Gras. And earlier tonight, I was talking to, to some folks who are from Houston, Texas, and they were just so happy to be here with their first Mardi Gras. Oh, I love that. Um, so, and he was asking me, you know, what's, what's the rendezvous like? And I said, it's the best party you'll ever go to. The best. I know they're having a great time tonight. You know, and I always say this on Mardi Gras Day when we're watching all the floats go by, that for, for all, the, all the Mardi Gras crews, they spend their hard-earned money to put on the greatest free show on earth. Mm -hmm. Now, the show was free outside. Great. If you want to be part of the rendezvous, you got to pay to get in. And also, I would like to add, as the wife of somebody who rides, we spend quite a pretty penny on throws. Oh, yeah, no, I know it. And, but it, it's all for, for, the, for the right reasons. Um, it's for the absolute right reasons. I just understand. He says, I'm swiping the card again. There i got to go. get more throws. And I just know that my job is to say yes. <laughs> it's such a big boost to the economy. And it's it just it's what most people associate with, with New Orleans. Whenever I talk to somebody who's from out of town, uh, they say one of their bucket list items is to come to Mardi Gras. And I yes. said, you really have to. There's and I always like tell it. them, too, if you're coming to Mardi Gras, it's not just about being down on bourbon. It's about taking part in the balls as uh, well. And next up, we have Warren Easton Bumble. High School Band. It's a 105-piece band. Obviously, parade regulars. Yeah. And they clearly know what they are doing. Think about how much fun it is for these kids. They get to march in all these parades. Uh, and I love the discipline that, that these bands have. And the dancers always equally oh, yeah. impress me. I mean, to be able to do these high kicks and remember your routine and be perfectly on point timing-wise after marching for, like you said, miles upon miles yeah. day after day. Look at them go and right hour there. hour after hour because this, this uh, parade started down by Tipitina's at 4.45, and then they had that half hour or so uh, break up uh, on Napoleon and St. Charles, so I'm sure they entertained the crowds there too. Oh, absolutely. Let's take a listen in now. Oh, they Take a quick break and be back with more of Bacchus. Don't go anywhere. 124. More to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. What year is this? What? What year is this? Welcome back to WWL Louisiana from the Moria Convention Center. All right, and we are moving yep. right along here. I love this float. This is, I, I love the theme of it too, and such an OT Buffett. The song here, as you see, both the drink and the clock, it's five o'clock somewhere. And Jimmy Buffett was such a big part of New Orleans. You know, you'd see him every year at Jazz Fest. Even when he wasn't playing, he'd be by, uh, backstage watching the bands. He was, he was as big a fan of other bands as we all were of him. 
And it's so special, obviously. Everyone here, like you said, celebrates Jimmy Buffett, and he does really embody a lot of what our city is. And so it's great yes. to see them choose this float to honor him as well as have a good time. They're throwing pineapple cups. Yeah. And, of course, the signature right there you can see on someone's head, the parrot head hat, which you need. Well, and they also have the great socks. Those are the ones I grabbed the first when I was at the, uh, with them on Friday. Uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. And those I'm are pretty my... sure someone oh. just tossed a pair. I'm going to wear those socks. Head to uh, Whitney. All right. Uh, are you a fan of James Bond? Absolutely. I love James How Bond. How could you not be? Uh, and this is, uh, this is a 007, float number 13. And also it looks very much like. Oh, the, like this Daniel one, Craig, yeah. It's uncanny how well yeah. they nailed that. Well, and you know what? Everybody always had their favorite James Bond. For so many people, it was, it was, it was, uh, um, oh. Uh, I can't remember either, so I can't <laughs> help you, but I know. That's you're... awful. Sean Connery. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Good Lord. Yeah, that's the, but, I, but Daniel Craig kind of changed the mold. I really like Daniel And he was, a, he was a great James I Bond. Really, yeah, I really like Daniel Craig. Played by, uh, by six different actors. Oh, <laughs> First by Sean Connery, as you mentioned. Oh, Most I didn't recently, see that. Daniel Craig, and that's who they've got there. Do Throwing you know? martini towels. All right. Do you know who Daniel Craig is married to? No. Rachel Weisz. No way. Yes, way. <laughs> wow, and they're having certainly a good time. Yeah, I love they the are. Costumes. I love the look. You know, my husband, every year he has a different costume for Bacchus, and uh, I've actually taken a couple of them and framed them because they're that yeah. detailed. And now a band that I love, that Leah McNeil We featured, featured them on, on the morning, morning news, yeah. And they were wonderful. Obviously, we're talking about St. Paul high, sc high School Marching Wolves here. They've got a lot of character in this band, let me tell you. I'm not sure how many parades they've been in this year, but I know it was a couple when Leah was talking to them. And they're here tonight entertaining this crowd. This crowd is love this parade. Yeah, they've got great style. They come from the North Shore direction of Andrew Moran. Let's take a listen. As St. Paul's plays on, let's go down to Colleen, who is on the parade route. What do you got? I've got some more friends, y'all. I've got Latanya, Otha, and Calvin. Latanya has not been here for 30 years. She's from New oh, Orleans, wow. and she came back for her first Bacchus rendezvous experience for this evening. How you feeling so far, baby? Oh, I'm excited, and I'm so glad to be here. It has been a wonderful experience. What are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to meeting everyone, looking at all the exclusive arrays out here and the trucks and all the bands and all of the exciting people that came through. It's really been a wonderful experience. And you mentioned Mardi Gras has been a big part of your family for all these years as well. Yes, growing up, especially on Lundi Gras, Mardi Gras, we come in and spend the whole day outside just getting to see all of the people and enjoying the floats and the music and everything. Yeah, and this is your first time as well. Yes, it is. Uh, my, my, uh, my, my Morehouse brother Calvin here got me here. We were here with Stem Nola a few years back and he invited me out to celebrate with him. It's been a wonderful experience being back here in New Orleans. We're so happy to have you guys. This is Calvin's eighth time. You just got off the captain's float. Hey, Colleen. This is my eighth ride. It was amazing. <laughs> for your meteorologist, thank you for <laughs> protecting us. But this is Bacchus Sunday. This is New Orleans. And thank you. We had an amazing ride. The energy is just such great out here, guys. We are so excited. Even though we're indoors, we have been praying for great weather just to have the great ambiance to be out and about and have the families watch the parades and enjoy it. And like we've been mentioning, Bacchus, it has not rained for all these years. And it doesn't it rain away. on Bacchus Sunday. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't. It doesn't. All right, guys. What do you got for us over there? Well, I'll tell you what, Colleen. I, you can tell you're from here because your first question was, was you know what are you expecting baby because that is so new orleans <laughs> exactly she knows what she's doing okay you guys i i love all the floats you know i love bacchus this is important to you but i have a little a little skin in the game with this one i'm a little biased my husband rides every year on the baca gator and it's a family tradition my father's riding for the very first time this year 
with my husband. And we also have my brother-in-law, Heath, and this is just such a good one. This is another really big one, 105 feet long. So Can you pick them out of the 114 people on that um, float? I do know where they're located. <laughs> so I think they're actually on the opposite side. I think they're on the passenger side. Wouldn't you um, know that? And they're at the bottom, and I I think I see them. So, okay, I'm going to be turned around because I'm going to try to be That's looking okay. just to see. But I love the Baca Gator, too, just because also the animation that it has. The way well, that it and the interesting part, uh, this was uh, the, the head was part of the gates from the 1984 Oh, no, there's my World dad. Fair. Uh, oh, Lee, that's great. My dad's right there. That's Tyler. There's oh, my husband. That. <laughs> there we go. That's my husband. Okay. And then Keith, his brother, and Austin. So oh, good, good. We got him. A little think. family affair there. Hold on, I'm waving. See I know, if they you're see waving. <laughs> All right, they see me. I do think that's so cool that, that the head was from the uh, World's Fair. Uh, you're too young to remember. And Please don't even... cut to me on the camera because I'm oh, trying no, to get it's their okay. attention. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Uh, but the World's Fair was just so wonderful. And I'm glad they've saved Ooh. part of it because Blaine Kern Sr. did a lot of the work uh, for the artwork that uh, adorned uh, the World's Fair, the opening gates, um, and all kinds of things. Okay, I'm a little out of breath. Are they yelling jumping up and down. Yeah. Okay. And also, I just want to say I'm very proud. My husband and everybody look like they are put together, and they're still on the float, and <laughs> way to keep it classy, boys. Love so when worry. do you they think they time. realized it was 5 o'clock somewhere? Um, I think it started very <laughs> early. I think maybe 5 a.m. There you go. Their option, but uh, hey, we love to see the Baca Gator. And you know, they always have some really great gator themed floats. And yeah. It's always fun to see. Look at that. That's a ton of stuff they're throwing. Yeah. They're having a good time. All right, you guys enjoy those throws. I just came out of my pocket. And I'm glad <laughs> we got to see your family uh, so close up. That yeah, was cool. Yeah, it was really cool to see. And it's my dad's first time riding, and he, you know, he comes to box every year just as a spectator, and he always enjoys himself. and. And so it's cool to see him take part in this, too. I'm a daddy's girl, so okay. I know he's having a great time. All right, who we got up next? Uh, MLK Charter School Band. Direction of Charles Brook, Lower Ninth Ward, of course. Always a great, great band to watch, so let's take a listen. I am really glad that our mics were down during that because I'm singing Chow Chow. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun when you catch on to what the song I know, is. They I know. I love one of the on ones it. earlier, but I'm All glad right. you're right. They didn't Here's in. Float 15, the Seven Dwarfs. Another oh, this great is, one. This is one of the uh, great fairy tales, the Disney fairy tale. Um, it was just so much fun. That movie was made, oh, good Lord, I think the 30s maybe or the 40s. I don't remember when. Yeah, we actually just took our girls to Disney for the first time, and so this was really exciting. They got to see Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and so introducing them to that. And of course, we've got, wait, without looking at the card, could you name all seven? Uh, no. Sleepy, <laughs> Sneezy, Dopey, um, I don't remember. 
Happy. Happy. Thank you. Nashville and Doc are the things there you go. you didn't mention. But hey, you did pretty good. I'm pretty happy. They did. They're throwing T-shirts. So I wonder if Whitney will get one of those and maybe show us what's on it. I'm assuming it's the Seven Dwarfs. But well, you know, you know, I'm I'm always known as Bashful. So. Oh, is that what you're known as? In the woman's we know is 35. All right, McDonald 35 High School Band. They are rolling in, right? They're back to back. Often, you know, sometimes you have to deal with a delay, but hey, and here, there, are knocking yeah. everybody out, getting one band well, right after these floats. That's what's good. This is such a good show that uh, Bacchus puts on every year. Keep For all these people up. that were lucky enough to be inside the convention center to witness this, it's just a wonderful night. And for those of you at home, you have a great seat. You get to see all the action, hear all the bands, and see all the floats. All right, direction on Felix Lewis the School, first open in 1917, so they've also got a rich history today located in the Gentilly neighborhood. And, you know, they're another band that performs in a ton of parades and just is yeah. working think hard many, for everyone. Think how many kids have passed through the doors of McDonough 35. Wow, yeah. I mean, when you put it that, that way, that yeah. year really settles yep. with you, yeah. Amazing. Oh, there's the Baca Gator again. Well, they keep showing it for you. <laughs> so when your husband gets off the phone, you think he'll come up? Um, I kind of hope not. <laughs> <laughs> we can interview him? Uh, it might be a little scary. We'll there see. you go. Hopefully they gave Wendy something good. All right, let's listen to McDonald 35. song that they were just playing. That All right, good. there we have the floating White House. <laughs> wow, this one is pretty amazing. Their, their float is the 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, float 16. And they're the float 16, which is kind of wow. cool. Wow, that one looks pretty good. That was intricate on the front. Looks kind of presidential, doesn't it? It does, very, very presidential. Of course, after the White House here, it started uh, building well, the White House started building in 1792. I was like, did they start building this wall? No. 1792? Yeah, that would be a little bit further than Bacchus was. And so much history at the White House. Have you ever taken a tour through it? I have, actually. We used to live in D.C., and so that's one of the beautiful things we got to do. That yeah. It's incredible. Some of the rooms they have and just how it operates in general. It'd be something to live there. I'd say that for sure. They're throwing special socks, too. So let's see if Whitney gets some presidential socks. I wonder if they're uh, non-political throws. Um, I'm actually surprised. When I first found out that there was a 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, I expected this one to maybe be a little questionable, but they seem to have kept it pretty classy, yeah. George Washington. Yeah. And I love their, their costumes And as we well. are in an election year. We are. So this is very fitting. Ah, George Washington never actually lived at the White House. Oh, every president because since it wasn't John built. Yeah, Adams, there you right, go. because they completed in 1800. Thank you for the history lesson. All right, breaking it down. Who we got up next? St. Catherine Drexel Saint Marching Catherine Band. Catherine Direction of Morgan Stewart. And this is an all-female band. Yep. You go, girls. Oh, we might be wrong here. Make sure, yeah. Yeah. No 
Okay, there, yeah, there was a little bit of, just a moment of confusion we're, because we're, some of the yeah. floats have gotten out of place and so the bands have had to step in into different places to fill. But we were right, this is St. Catherine. I knew by their colors and the all-female band. Do you know what the name of the school was before this? I don't actually. Xavier Prep. Was it now? Yes. I always it love hanging out with you. I get to learn so many things. It changed a few years ago, I can't remember, but uh, it's a wonderful school over on, um, what are they on? I think on Magazine, Magazine Britannia, Britannia, Britannia. Another school with uh, a lengthy history, uh, founded in 1950s. Yeah. Look at that band. That's so incredible. Look at this. Well, this float is not hard to miss either. Guess what it is? The Hawaii well, Five-0. But you're too young to remember Hawaii Five-0. But I am familiar. I didn't watch it in its time. <laughs> yeah. No, it was good. Uh, but my favorite line from Hawaii Five-0 uh -huh. was, book them, Dano. Oh, yeah, my dad said that a couple times. See? Yeah, but that's very cool, shirt. Well, I'm going to keep reading about this float here. Eric has I'm saying hi to friends. Eric has, Eric has friends everywhere. Ran for 12 seasons on CBS. It's about an elite branch of Hawaii State Police led by uh, Captain Steve McGarrett. So if anyone else, you know, maybe hadn't seen it. $10. I'm sure. $10 if you can tell me who the star of that show was. Oh, I'm going to lose $10 here. Jack Lord. Oh, okay. I'm going to work on my uh, Hawaii 5 He's knowledge. the one who said book him, Dano. Okay. It was a great catch for Well, yeah, and the series was rebooted in 2010, and that definitely That is, was, it yeah, was, yeah. yeah, it was. But it wasn't as good as the original, no offense. It never is, is it? No, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> All right, Booker, Booker T. T. Washington High School. Direction of Charles Jackson, founded in 2016. Go. Wow, look at those costumes. You go, ladies. I still love the energy you see in these kids who have been marching for hours. So yeah. And especially the guys who carry the big bass drum. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yeah. It's so loud. Uh, the other day we had one, a band in, and they had one of those big bass drums, and I made them walk up by tape and scare them. Oh, yeah. I loved that. Actually, I posted that on social media just so I could live there forever. Oh. After we listen to them, remind me of something to tell you. I want to take a listen. One of the most famous floats in uh, the Bacchus Parade. I the always forget Bacchusaurus. how tall this float is it until is. you're it's actually monstrous, seeing yeah. it. That one is so tall, and it's really cool, too. Another very animated one. The green dinosaur obviously carries the crew in a wine cask, as they should. 14 riders, so a bit of a smaller one as far as the riders are concerned, but not in height, certainly. And, and Barry Kern was telling me that they did a lot of work to make it extra special this year, and uh, Bacchusaurus looks great. It really does. Okay, so I wanted to rem I wanted to bring it up earlier, and then I forgot. But that interview that Colleen had down there, did you hear that gentleman had thanked Peyton Malone and our meteorologist? We didn't thank Peyton Malone. Okay, he I was thanked, throwing that out he there. Thanked, <laughs> he, thanked, he thanked our weather people. Chris Franklin is well, here tonight. So. Chris, he, he is. He's him seeing this, and he does such a great job. He's so fun, and his wife is here as well, so we got to take a picture with them. If you guys want to check those out? We but, all look very schnazzy tonight. But Bacchusaurus looks great, and, and you know, this thing first debuted in 1972. They did a wonderful job at Kern Studios refurbishing it and just making it look great this year. You just can't get Peyton Malone his moment, can you? <laughs> no, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> he did say meteorologist. You're right. I was just trying to stir the pot a little bit. I know, and it worked. 
All right, let's check in with Colleen. She's getting all of the great interviews down there with everybody from Dallas to Richmond, Virginia. And, okay, I saw her earlier. Can you tell her I absolutely love her yeah, entire okay, look? Great. Yeah, so Brianna says that she absolutely loves your oh, entire look. You. Eric thinks the same way. That's what stuck out to me because I'm like, this girl has got it going on. This is Becca. Yep. Becca's been a part of this for 15 years now. Yep. Yep. And what inspired you to have this whole you know, this is my on. captain of Mardi Gras hat. I wear it every year. Had it for a while now. Um, and I just needed something shiny and fun to celebrate Bacchus tonight. Yo, she's all sticking out down to the toes. Oh, I yeah. There's yeah. Uh, some By the way, here Colleen. Too. Oh, wow. Colleen. What, did Eric? You where she got that hat? I want to get one. Where did you get the hat? Eric wants one. I got it on one of the boutiques on Magazine. I can't remember which one. Magazine, perfect. We'll take yeah, a field trip on the morning show. Oh, it's like, I'll go, I'll go. I'm, I'm shopping, I'm down. Yeah, we'll go at 9 o'clock in the morning. Look, <laughs> just like I mentioned, like, Peyton, the fact that we got the weather right, this is why people should watch WWL Louisiana because we have all the right answers for the people, and we are so excited to be here. And your uncle rides, and he's part of Float 28. Hole in one, that's right, yep. That's who you're here supporting and who you've been with for the past 15 years as well. Yeah, always. And my cousin James, also on the same float. Becca, where are you from? I'm actually born and raised in Nashville, but live uptown now. After going to Tulane, I was a Katrina baby. Yeah. Oh, so my freshman year was Katrina. Yeah. Wow. And like we've been showing, there's people from all over the United States, even different countries we've been running into. So this is where the party's at, y'all. This is so exciting. And then just like Whitney's also mentioned all the, the glam and the people dressed up and this is what it's about and the camaraderie. And we're just so excited to be here tonight. You can totally feel the energy back at home that we're bringing across your televisions right now. Okay, field trip to go shopping. I'm down. Colleen We're gonna wait. We want it. Eric's credit card, baby. Yeah, Eric said he was gonna pay. <laughs> I, do love, I do love that outfit, though. I, that I really do. Amazing. That hat says me all over. Uh, I think it does. Uh, well, I think you like the part that said captain. There you go. Yeah, you steer the you <laughs> steer part. the morning cruise ship. <laughs> all right. Colleen, thanks. We'll check back in soon. We all right, have guys. Walter, Walter L. Cohen College Prep Band. Uh, the mascot is the Hornets, and they look wonderful. They really do. Located in Central City, the direction of Tanel Moore, and they are bringing the energy. Oh, I love to see it. These dancers have got it going on. And the ton twirlers, as you I just know. said. Wow, the I skill. I love watching them. And okay, look, I like these moves. Oh, that, those guys are great. I love the high stepping and the dance moves. Mm -hmm. Really good. Watch these guys. Oh. <laughs> Wow. And they've been doing this for uh, miles and miles and hours and hours. And they have not lost any energy. They'll probably sleep well tonight. Though. I hope so. As Clark Brennan said, this is the second, second show. You bring in the energy right into the convention center, and you have to put on quite the performance. And they are not disappointing. Oh, no. Yeah. The skill this takes also. I'm so impressed by it. Have them. you ever really twirled a baton? I have, actually. Were you good? Um, I wasn't bad. I mean, I didn't go anywhere with it, but I tried it. I mean, I've tried. I'm, I'm amazed at the skill level when you see them doing that for uh, as long as they do. Yeah. And don't drop anything. Not dropping them. The athleticism. Yeah. And we just had, um, just a minute ago, we had the cheerleaders who stopped sort of in the middle and performed a stunt. Yeah. After miles of walking and performing and cheering, I mean, to be able to stop and still perform that stunt accurately. I mean, the athleticism. We love it cheering them all on up here on this platform stage. And this is a big band. It is a big band. We have the band, the uh, cheerleaders, and the baton twirlers. <laughs> and we were talking a little bit earlier about the fashion and the, what I love about this is, it's not traditional. You don't have to be in just a, a gown and, and something simple. You can really put on something that also has a little bit of creativity and joy, you know, no matter what age you are, no matter who you are. And so it's really beautiful. All right, actually, a little behind the scenes, you guys didn't catch it, but Eric just got to take a picture in that sparkly captain's hat. So now I know we have to get well, him Well, Colleen one. brought Whitney up and the hat. <laughs> the, the hat looks even better in person. That got so Great. sweet. That was the true sport there. Let you put on the captain's hat. All right, let's see who we have here behind. Oh, wait, wait. you guys gonna? Wait, can, can we show this just for <laughs> one second? Maybe. Oh, there we go. Isn't that a great hat? It is a great hat. I think we both need one. Maybe for next wait, year. Although it messed up my hair a little bit. Oh yeah, this would be great. This would be great. Yeah, that, that's pretty that's good. That's me. Oh, good. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> 
Thank just you check, very much. Just checking. That's me. Oh, what is this? this oh, is a beer bong. The beer baby, bong. right yeah. here. You want this? Okay. I want the beer bong. I got this for you. Um, you is, is this what do you, people you do this on a handstand? Is that what they whoa, do? Whoa, I whoa, think whoa. You do, I think you go to frat parties. I don't know. I, well, I, I did go to the Ohio State University. A handstand? Did you mean a keg? A keg? No, people are upside down. I think. I don't know. I don't Maybe. do that. Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't I do don't, that. I mean, I'm a classy but lady. I'm here to watch. <laughs> Definitely here to watch. All right, we are having a good time out here Absolutely. still. And like Eric was saying, the energy that these kids have to be marching all this way, oh, all yeah. this time, and they're still giving us the best show. We got some girls out here. The cheerleaders were doing stunts just a little bit ago. We are having the best time. I am seeing things that I, I don't have the knees for. Okay, I couldn't do it. I definitely couldn't do it. Uh, I think we have another band coming up behind us. The athleticism is on display tonight. Oh, just go ahead and grab a baton and see if you can twirl uh, it. Or we'll a see. handstand, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that look, might be look, bad to I don't know about <laughs> Let me get something for you, uh, Eric. Uh oh. I got spoiled. I got oh. a tie. Oh, for that's you. good. I Isn't like that. that. Nice? I wear that tomorrow. And it's already tied. You don't have to tie it. There you go. I kind of <laughs> no. like that. All right. Oh, Abramson's band is behind us. Let's take a look up at the band, that athleticism we were just talking about. And the music. Located and the good the music. East. Nicknamed Beast from the East. 200 students in this band as we're talking about all these very large oh, yeah. bands. And to get 200 individuals where they need to be, on time, in step, on key, it's amazing. Well, I still like their, their motto, Beast from the East. <laughs> Just ahead of them was float 19, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. So we got a little glimpse of them. It was actually a, a neat float, and the guy who made my, my medallion was on that float. Was he? Okay, yeah. yeah, we definitely want to give them credit, though. Obviously, a popular song. Uh, it takes more than 13 minutes to actually sing the whole thing. <laughs> have you ever done it? Um, no. I, I, I have, can't actually. say that I have. Have you? Yeah. What, were you trying to get yourself to sleep? No, no, no. <laughs> I count sheep for that. Okay. Let's take a listen. Well, I'll tell you what, um, Abramson did a great job. Who was up? Who was just up? And now we have Twelfth Night. Is well, that? Whatever they did, oh. they, were saying, they were saying, what is love? Oh, what the, is love? Baby, don't hurt me. I uh, know. And the movie was great. It was an SNL skit. And you that, guys missed it because we, were, we had oh, yeah, the head yeah. bob going. Uh, Chris Kattan and uh, Will Ferrell. Great movie. Great movie. Oh, and now we keep it rolling with Float 20. Twelfth Night, of course. And we only have 12 floats to go because it's a 32 float parade. Oh, wow, you really can do math. I can do math. I'm very impressed. You notice I do wait for the numbers that are pretty easy to, to add up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, 
12th night was great. We got the king cake baby there, settled nicely right in the middle of that king cake. I don't think the baby's got any clothes on though, so don't look too closely, friends. Well, <laughs> and oh, look at the crowd, catching all the good. We got some boas, we got some good bracelets, all of these good things. Obviously, when the wise men reached Jesus, that's yeah. the reason there's a baby there in the king cake, and it always kicks off the beginning of carnival season. Now, do you follow the rule that you can't have the king cake until? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not, okay, good. And you always leave the knife in the box. Yep. That's also not debatable. Do and not, I always, not give me if a I get the baby, I, I shove it in so somebody else gets it. So. <laughs> wow, I am not Is that surprised. Wrong? I'm, it's very Eric Paulson, <laughs> I'll just say that. And actually, my daughter's, um, we were staying at our hotel and they were giving out king cake and both my daughters got one because we keep them down here from Mardi Gras until yeah. Baca Sunday. Both of them got two different types of king cake. Both of them got the baby. And everybody's got their favorite king cakes. The other day on, on the show, we had oh uh, 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 Kaluna's Bakery yes. and, and they brought they made king cake for us. It was, it was delicious. This is a really fun one. Again, this is low 20, so that we are more than halfway. We're doing a good job. Yeah, now we move on to another gorgeous band. Look at those ladies there, yeah. Young Audiences Band. And you can hear Chris Franklin in the background. He's announcing this. Doing a great He's the job. official announcer for the show tonight. So the crowd knows what's going on, and then we take it from there. The Young Audiences Band, founded in 1961, their goal is to bring music to classrooms. And every band director I've ever talked to said that that music is such an important part of a young person's life. Uh, in many ways, it keeps them out of trouble, keeps them occupied, it, it increases social skills, and well, especially just especially during Mardi Gras season, they yeah, don't have any time have to do anything. Time. They sound great too. They put on a great performance. I love when they they bring the, the searchlights. It's in every parade, and I, I just love seeing it. I don't know why. It just reminds me of kind of a Hollywood opening. Hey, it is bigger and better than ever, and we're continuing our Bacchus 55th rendezvous coverage here from the convention center. We'll be right back. More to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th parade and rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana.
Welcome back to coverage of the Crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous on WWL Louisiana from the Morio Convention Center. Well, there are you... Buccaneers, and we have Buccaneers. <laughs> and I prefer ours. And I don't know if you can hear behind us Chris Franklin just yelling, Hail Bacchus. So, Hail Bacchus. And now we've got another great float coming up here. This is float 21. I always love to see this, these LED screens that are oh, yeah. so creative and, you know, revolutionary as far as these floats are concerned. The Buccaneer. Well, the seven seas. And you're talking about the LED lights. They really revolutionized night parades. Yeah. They have been wonderful, and uh, Bacchus uses them really well. To start with the flambeaus, now we've got the LED <laughs> lights here. I'm glad we saw the flambeaus here. Really, They're really cool traditional. here. This is another really big tandem float. It is a big uh, the longest in Bacchus, 164 feet long, and carries over 100 riders. That is pretty incredible. To be the man who has to drive this on that and tractor. I was, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. You, you got of course it. we you were thinking know what the you're same. Doing. Great mind. These, uh, these uh, tractor drivers really are experienced. They do know what they're doing to maneuver a float like this around as many it. turns as they have to do on the parade route. Wow, some of these guys have got an arm on them because I just saw some people stuck some of those throws pretty far. I like how Bacchus makes everything a Baca something. Yes. Oh, they know what they're doing. Yeah. That's a big float. 100 men? Wow. 110 to be exact. Throwing carrots, peg leg socks. Ooh, that's a good sock. I hope Whitney and Colleen get that one. Although I don't know that Colleen's going to get that. I think she's up here. She's working closer to us, so she's well, not down there yeah, on the Yeah, she's, she's talking to one of the young riders who is one of the pages on the King's Book. We'll have to check in with her in a minute. Seeing Sarah, Sarah T. Reed High School Band here. Direction of DeLacy Monk. This school was established in 1988, of course, located in New Orleans East. Wow, another band with a lot of energy. Yeah. Look at that, doing that behind their backs. Talk about athleticism. That is fun. You weren't in band in high school, were you? Was I what? In band? Oh, no, I was in the orchestra. I played the cello. Oh, that's pretty. Did you really? Uh -huh. Well, I love, you know, I learned something new every day. Okay, I wasn't in band. I don't really have the, the gift of music. The sounds of dynamite. Dynamite. You know who said that line on TV? I don't, but I know the line. Wait. Wait, I, I do know. Hold on. Jay. Who? Yeah, Jimmy Walker. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Dino Let me make sure that that's who said that. And let's get over to Colleen, who is at a table with one of the pages who rode with the king tonight. Yeah, guys, I'm here with Jennifer, Tim, and their son, Victor. He's only nine years old. This was his first experience ever riding in a parade. Victor, are you excited? Yes. Yeah. What was your favorite part about riding with Bacchus 55, Kevin Dillon? Um, he was very fun and very nice. Oh, I love to hear that, y'all. It would. And how was your experience? Oh, it was great. It's always great. Love taking the kids, looking after them. To watch their perspective of the, you know, the parade is so awesome to see it through that. How long have you been attending Bacchus? Ten. This is my tenth year. 
How did you get involved with it? So a uh, good friend of mine, Dr. Christopher Sinek, uh, I've known him for 35 years, comes to my restaurant in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, and uh, we've just been friends. So he said, hey, you should come, you know, ride in Bacchus. So myself and him and a group of friends from that area have been doing this for quite a while. This is so exciting for, for you, Jennifer. When did you start coming out here? Um, it's been seven? about seven years. Seven years. This is my seventh Bacchus. And it's a whole different experience from riding and then coming to the Bacchus Rendezvous. This is a very unique experience for coming to the convention center. It's a relaxed atmosphere and it's exciting and safe and the most enjoyable thing I would say is really to have the bathrooms nearby that are available along with the food and the drinks and the camaraderie like I've been mentioning that we have here. And then of course like we've been mentioning as well is to have the families involved and the kids and this is really important to have to create a legacy and memories to last a lifetime. Yes. I mean, we've seen a lot of people move on and, you know, someone's got to be next. And if you get them involved, get them excited about it, that's how it lives on and gets better and stronger. Would you like to be the next King Victor? No. Oh, okay. Why not? It just seems like a lot of work. Well, there you have it, folks. He knows it's a lot of work oh, to yeah. oh, do yeah. that job itself, but you never know what could happen one day, right? By the way, Colleen... Tim mentioned he was a chef. Tim is actually a great chef and a very well-known chef. Yeah, and by the way, Eric, I have something for you. One, two, three, hail Eric! There you go. Oh, okay, <laughs> all right. That was sweet. Tell I Tim, love Jennifer and Victor, thank you. Uh -huh. I love children because their honesty is so wonderful. We had the Three Ring Circus Float 22 that just passed by a minute ago. And Three Honestly. Little Pigs now. Yeah, now we've got Three Little Pigs, so they were throwing some clown wigs on the last one. And now it looks like we've got some good beads and also throwing special socks to cover your piggies. All right, what were the three houses they built? Um, straw, sticks, and brick. Yep. All right. I think, I I know Straw's one of them. Yeah, I think sticks and bricks. Okay. That sounds good. You can't ask me the quiz if you don't know <laughs> the answer. Uh, well, I was hoping you'd tell me. Okay, well, there you go. So this is a good one. Um, and, and, you know, almost every kid knows the story of the three Yeah, kids. it's a story that, it, you know, highlights important We clearly don't know work. enough about it. But <laughs> I mean, it's been a little while. That's not what yeah. my kids are quite yet ready for. I try not to scare them. And the wolf can be a little intimidating. It's a, you know, obviously an old children's story so we'll get there at some point but this is a fun one also another i'm still really on club. this little piggy went to market this little piggy stayed home <laughs> that's okay to be stuck on that they um i love their pink costumes too yeah. obviously fitting up the the pig thing. i like the little pig's ears story. on their on their that's hats one. look at the crowd too just look how yeah deep that it is. is yeah and everybody pushes up to those barriers try to make sure they can catch the best throws and then you've got some in the back to stand on the chairs tables whatever they can get on i guess i don't say them on and by the way, this is a great party tonight. You know, we have this. We're going to try and get the, the, the king here uh, in a couple of minutes and talk to him. And then the, the musical act tonight is Chicago. It's going to be great. I just watched a documentary about Chicago, and it's fascinating to see the, their history. I went to Southern Illinois University, and uh, I saw Chicago perform at our school live in the round. It was a neat concert. Awesome. Look at that. And now they're here. They make me smile. Just a couple they of years later. For you. Yeah, just a couple of years. Just a couple. All right. All right. So. Warrensville Heights High School Band. They come all the way from Warrensville Heights, Ohio. That's amazing. Also traveled to Bacchus last year, so this isn't their first rodeo. The school motto go. is one team, one vision, one goal, and I really love that, and can we're happy imagine, to have them. Can you imagine what it's like for kids from Ohio to come down here for the carnival season no. and get to march in a parade, a big parade like Bacchus? And I don't know how you describe that to your friends back home. And also, no. I mean, but it's amazing to see some of the bands that come out and some of the different just groups who come out. Uh, we watched a group from Vermont yesterday perform when we were out there for Iris. Yeah. Um, and they were pretty funny. It said, like, when we left Vermont, it was 8 degrees or something like that. And, you know, then we have this band. I know last night at Endymion, there were a ton of different bands from Alabama. Oh, yeah. It, it's really great to have these kids from different places. But like you said, I mean, Ohio, that's a little bit further. So it's great to have them. Obviously, they liked it enough to be able to come back. This was one of my favorite movies as a kid. 20,000 Leagues. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. What a sophisticated uh, it's, it's a kid Jules Verne. 
That's a Jules Verne uh, book. Um, I, I just love it. They've made, they've had several movies for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. It was, it was just great. And Jules Verne was a wonderful writer. Yeah, this is a fun float too. Look at the, the artistry on the side of this one. And obviously it looks like uh, catching some good throws there. They've got a ton to offload and they've got a good variety. They yeah. look like they got the sailors and also the captains. Well, and we talked about, we talked about the movies in 1954. Uh, the movie starred Bacchus 16, Kirk Douglas, and they're throwing light-up socks, by the way. Ooh, special socks. We'll have to see if Whitney gets those. Okay, Pierre Capdow Charter Band, Charter School Band, under the direction of Edward Johnson. Uh, that school, by the way, was destroyed by Katrina. Now 5,000 kids attend the redeveloped wow. charter school. That is impressive. Original school was founded in the 1920s, so, you know, to lose that kind of history, but to be able to bounce back yeah. 5,000 students, that is incredible. And look at this band, so well put together. Let's listen, they sound great. This is a good one. I know some of those ladies who Colleen spoke to earlier from Dallas who are going to be excited. They said that their and, husbuds yeah, are riding on, on the Bacalapa. Bacalapa. I that's remember a, that's that. That's a big float, too. Yeah, this one's 85 feet long. It's another one of those really massive tandem floats. Carries 75 riders. And I love these ones because they just have that little bit of extra, right? The, the, the smoke, or I guess in this sense it would be what the whale's breathing coming up. So. Oh, it's guess really, what? Really cool. We've got some special we guests have, about to join we us. We have Johnny Drama heading our way. Kevin. Royalty Kevin has entered the building. Yeah, that's so good. But he'll have to take off. Does he leave his crown on? <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Hi. Happy to have you. Okay, we're just going to get him all situated. Are here with the man of the hour, <laughs> Mr. Kevin Dillon. Right here. Talk into my mic because I don't think that we are hearing you. All right, of and course, both. this Man, is what happens. This we, is no way to treat a king. You this know is that? No way to treat a king. <laughs> you know, it, uh, on Entourage, they called you Johnny Drama. You're giving us a little drama tonight. 
There you go. How was how was the ride? The weather stayed on. You know, it was supposed to rain, All but right, it didn't. You guys got lucky. There you go. How are we doing? Can we hear on this one? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Try so this the one. king. I hope we have a mic fit for a king. No. <laughs> okay. We're going to try. to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. Myself. Oh, right there. I, it just came in. It came in. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Check, check, check. There we go. All right. All right. Yeah. When we come back. Oh, yeah. Like All a right. halo over you. <laughs> I know with that light, you'll have to take it with your. It's a kingly together. thing. I, there you go. Yeah. You earned this somehow, so. Uh, I know people. Okay. <laughs> I know a couple of people who know some people. Yes, one, two. Coverage of the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous on WWL Louisiana from the Morio Convention Center. All right. We All finally right. got our mic issue solved. We have, we have a mic fit for a king now. <laughs> uh, Kevin Dillon, it's just such a pleasure to have you with us tonight. Oh, thank you for having me. It's, it was an epic, epic ride. So when did 5 o'clock somewhere start on your float? I have no <laughs> idea. I'm still on L.A. time. And, you know, it's... Super Bowl, Schmooper Bowl. There Who we cares? Go. There when you go. you're in New Orleans at the Bacchus Parade, it was amazing. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Have, have you ever been to Mardi Gras before? I've, I've been to uh, New Orleans many times, but I've never been here for, for Mardi Gras. And wow. first time. What yeah. a way to do it. Oh, what a way to do it. What a way to yeah, make your interest. To, to do it as the king, I mean, it's great. Yeah. And thank you to Josh Dumel, who suggested me for oh, king nice, yeah. josh is he was a great buddy. king he was a great king i really I heard enjoyed that him too, and he's a great guy and a really good friend of mine though. by the way you look very royal in this this it's looks impressive. good well, did you, you just know, have this in your closet or was this something you got special for i i may never take this off to be honest with <laughs> i don't think I mean, you should i think you should I keep looked, it on i've never looked better so uh it looks good i'm still wearing the crown yeah, i mean I'm, most kings take the crown off by now, but no, oh, no, not me. Not. Oh. not doing it. Of course, Never riding it is something that's so special, just getting to be here and ride. But uh. was there anything else that really stood out to you once you came in? And we got to do it well, right you now. know what, to be honest, oh, my God. It was just so shocking to see how many people yeah. showed up. And I was able to bring out my friends and family. So I got two brothers and, you know, about, like, four friends. And we had such a great time. And they treated all my friends and family Good. like they treated me, like they were kings. That's what we do and, in New Orleans, baby. Oh, it was unbelievable. So and is Matt here as well? No, Matt. Matt's. I think he's in Rome right now. Matt's oh. living a little bit he's in Rome out. and in New York. Yeah. He's missing yeah. out. Yeah. Well, we've really enjoyed so, well, having you him. Maybe he could be a fun. future. There you king, go. You know, he'd be a great. King. What a good brother you are. <laughs> What's that? I said such a good brother. Be yes. Able to look out for him. Oh, I would love to see him. And what was it like with all the kids? Because you had all those pages with you. I oh, know my they God. Were thrilled. You know what? The greatest thing I heard the whole time was from the pages. The pages said, and the pages of the, the kids that ride the flow with you, they like they said, you're the best king of all time. Oh. To me, that was just amazing, man. That's so uh, sweet. Oh, man, these, they, they were great kids. They were awesome. We actually got to talk to one of the pages Did you really? just a minute ago, and that's what he said. He said, we asked how the king was, and he said he was really fun yep. and really uh -huh. nice. He was I nine years I wish I could old. have been around them more, but I was up on, you know, a mm -hmm. pedestal. But By the way, were, they we, were great kids. We were, we were uh, here in the convention center uh, on Friday. I actually sat on your throne. On my what? I sat on your throne. On my phone? Throne. throne. Oh, my throne. <laughs> Off with your head. I know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
I'm going to spare him. Thank you. Spare him. All, All right. Spare. He's good. Well, the crew's That's going the down. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh Wait, God. Uh, yeah. Watch out. Someone's pegging some of the stuff over here this well, way. Good. You know, it's payback. I mean, I threw a couple things. How, how was it? Is your arm sore or did you find it pretty natural? No, not really. Uh, I, I, I might have broke some records, I think. You said, I, I reached some upper deck. Yeah, yeah. I nice. Mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm although, sure they appreciated it. Although, we thought you had pretty good moves when you took the little the light two swords. And, shoom, and you, like, whipped them out? Yeah, swords, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was legendary. You know, that was a Viking quest kind of okay. thing. Okay, uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny yeah. Drama's a Viking. and uh, But they actually, those swords made great darts. So I was able to, be, if you could get them through the wind, you could get them on those upper shelves. And I guess to the day you die, you'll always be Johnny Drama. Yeah. That was you that was such and a And I'm proud of that role. to be like, honest as with you. As you should be. I am, as I mean, you should be. I play a lot of great characters, but none have I loved more than Johnny Drama. For all his flaws and oh, all yeah. his uh, he was a little you know, he's a head case, but he loved his guys, he had a big heart. And I love I love that guy. I still one of my favorite scenes where you were trying to buy a condo or something and you and Turtle were there. And the guy wanted a 1.5 million. You said no, 1.1. I won't go higher. 1.2. And then yeah. finally, finally, you offered him more than he was hey, asking. Hey, I know overpaying. That's Johnny Drama for you right there. That's that was a little Johnny bit drama. of Johnny Drama. Ah. That's amazing. And I'm sure you pulled in a little bit of that character for the King moment today. Well, you know, I, I, I yes, I, 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 I always bring a little bit of character. And I can't tell you how many people like. Hey, drama over here. Oh, yeah. Hey, Johnny. <laughs> That's awesome. And then, you know, we obviously still have plenty to do tonight, and there's still more to go. Oh, what does the rest I can of the evening look like? I stand up. I am so shot. Oh, that's good. That's and all right. You're allowed to sit I down the rest of the time. I played flag football in Las Vegas just a couple days before I got here. What'd you do? Doug Flutie. We won, you know. Oh, okay. But I was running a lot, so now my legs are sore. My shoulder, everything's sore, basically. Uh, I'm an old fart. Well, even well, if you're not king, do you plan on coming back to New Orleans for I Mardi Gras? Do we I expect can't to see you again? I can't wait to come back. I've made so many friends Good. here. and uh, We'd love to have you. I, I, I can't wait to come back and just uh, just, just have fun and, and not, uh, you know, well, maybe put on the mask and just enjoy myself. You can go enjoy it at the king's table. Uh, you'll be served like a king, and will. Chicago will serenade you. A little yes. later on. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I had a here. great time. Thank you. Hail Bacchus, hail the king. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. It's good to be the king. Good to be the king. <laughs> All right. It's great we'll, to have we'll you. We'll be right back. More to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. I can hear you. Okay, now we got it. Yeah. Yeah. I can hear you. Brianna, you hear me? Hey, yes. Good Good good. to see you. What's up, man? Hi, it's good to see you. By the way, I'm so glad I have this. (laughs) You're looking good. Cantalosi gave it to me. Now, I can't hear you too good. Okay. You you can't? I'll not hear you. You can hear me? I can hear you. Okay, Okay. I'll I'll move my mic closer. They need to have these mics come a little round more, you know? Oh, really? It just seems like it'd be a smarter idea. How's the production going? Everybody's good? So far, so good, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Um, 
And I don't know if he told you, I have about 13 family members who ride in Bacchus. Really? Yeah, my um, father-in-law is Barry Boudreaux. Okay. So he's a riding lieutenant. And okay, so we're ready. Bacchus is in the family. Well, we go from royalty to the man who makes it all happen. Another uh, version of royalty here. Clark <laughs> Brennan, uh, your dad's got to be so proud of what you're doing. Absolutely. Well, he's at home, and it was just a great, great thing. The other day we were talking about him, and he had called me. And I was with Kevin, the king, mm -hmm. and uh, so they had a great conversation. Oh, good. My father, you know, is 89 years old, but he's 100% he's there. They just had a great conversation. And the wisdom from Dad was amazing to Kevin Dillon as about being king of Bacchus. And they talked about some history. It was great. And speaking of history, I was talking to one of my friends who, uh, 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 actually one of Ed, Ed, uh, Ed Munez's daughters. Sure. And they were saying that they have so much respect for Bacchus because Bacchus really elevated everything sure. and, and sure. was responsible for what M and Demian does, what yeah. you do, yeah. what well, Orpheus does. Great, a lot it's of the a super great groups. thing that, that Dad started. And, but truly look at Mardi Gras today. Oh, yeah. I mean, we have full of floats, uh, large crews. Um, I will tell you, I was a little, no, I was shocked tonight at the size really? of the crowd. Well, because the threat of rain, crowd. but it didn't. It wouldn't rain on Bacchus. No, it did but I was worried about the rain in the Super Bowl. Yeah. We've had bigger crowds before, but this crowd was huge. Yeah. I could, thank you. I thought it was awesome. Well, as Kevin King, Kevin Dillon said, yeah. Super Bowl schmoobable. <laughs> Not here. How has hey, he been to? We're winning today. We're there winning. We are the winners. How has he, as a king, he seems amazing, and the pages had nothing but great he, things to say. He's just been a great guy. He's one of those guys that understands that this is his customers. Yes. And so he never stopped to take a picture. I mean, he did. He would always take a picture. Oh, yeah. He would shake a hand. Those are the kind of people that make us look good and he looks good because that you embodies know, who we are as some well. people go hide in the corner and again you hit another home run this year i mean yes. we've Absolutely. been doing this i don't know how many years uh broadcasting uh the bacchus rendezvous and all the kings have been so nice so just friendly yeah, yeah. Mm. and you know i think it's the when they get off that plane and we're there to meet them and we give that southern hospitality. Yeah. And that never stops. That's right. All the way and to so the hotel. We yeah. treat them like kings. And the biggest difference is when these guys are in Hollywood, they're Hollywood. Right. But when they go to events, their families are shunned and they are taken care of. We take care of our king, but their families and guests and he mentioned are 100%. That. And it's funny you say that because that's exactly what he mentioned, how his whole family is here, yes, his friends yes, are here, yes, yes. and they were getting the same royal treatment. And we know that Bacchus is has such a good history, and it brings the goal was to bring right sure, everybody sure, in. Sure. It, you didn't have to be in a certain circle. You could come in from anywhere. And we have interviewed people from Richmond, Virginia. We've talked to Dallas. We've talked to all sorts of places yep. all over the country. And so you guys are continuing to succeed at the goal years ago and now. That's, that's what it's about. We want our citizens to have a great time. We want our visitors to have a great time. And Bacchus is doing that. And you guys have been a big part of throwing the greatest free show on earth. Well, we're one part of it. That's what I said. We're one part of it. And uh, it just kudos to all the crews. It's a great two weeks in New Orleans. And uh, I love it. It's been a great carnival season, except for that one Saturday that got all the rain. People still came out because I was on the parade route that Saturday at rain. We prayed, we prayed a lot to my mama <laughs> and Father Harry Thompson. There you go. No rain there tonight. There you go. And no he rain. got lucky. Yes, we did. And can I ask, when it comes to the themes, they're always so creative. How, did, how, did, how long does that take to really we, come we up just, with what you're going to go with? It takes a little bit of time, but we sit around at a table, a couple of us, you know, Cash it and out. just start talking and just the creative starts to work. And uh, we got to the one thing we noticed on the Bacamore, there was no number associated with it. Yeah, we couldn't figure that one out. Bacamore. There was no number on that? No. I got to get Barry Kern now. <laughs> Wait, in, we're not trying to get anybody in trouble. There was Barry charge the, of the, We didn't know if it went over our head <laughs> no, or, no, no, okay. No, no. Well, there's a couple. Well, no, no, that was the only one. That's yeah, it. Well, <laughs> I, that's all right. No, that's true. But, but I, I, I kind of. No, because the police want you to number every. No, no, no the oh, float no, was numbered. Oh, no, we mean numbered. the float. It didn't it have a pun number. Like. 
You know they all have take a number. Yes. Oh no, are we getting in yes. trouble by putting? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So we it, it, was, a, it was a lot of fun. I, I so made great. up my own theme for that. I said, yeah, it's I said it's, it's for all the lovers some people have had. There you go. <laughs> take there a number. Go. That's right. Oh That's my right. goodness. All Is right. that wrong? No. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, no, it's Eric Paulson. That's what That's I say. Right. Clark, Clark's Paulson. been a friend for so many years, and, and I, I love your dad. Well, thank you. He's a great man. I love him too. He lives with me, and uh, what a what a pleasure, what a gift to have him when I'm home to have dinner with him. But my wife has dinner with him every night. But I work a lot, like y'all do, and so I'm not home a lot. But when I am. Well, we shout out to her together. because That's the right. wives of those who are in Bacchus, let me tell you. That's right. It's, it's also demanding on those That's wives right. and, the, right. and the spouses right. and family, but sure. it, it's such sure. a joy. It's such a family event, and we sure. love taking our girls to the open house well, and getting to be a part it's a of family every bit event. of it. And that's what I want it to be. It's about You're doing family. a good job. Now, when you go home, is he going to sit you down and go, okay, this worked, this didn't? Well, he, he wants to hear all you. about it. There oh, you go. I love it. And then he will watch this production. Good, sure. good. Well, we, Clark, we another thank home. you. All right, guys. Thank you all. You did great, brother. It was Love wonderful. You thank you. We appreciate it. to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. The coverage of the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous on WWL Louisiana from the Morio Convention Center. No, and boy, here we have the Baker's, time. well, the Bacchus doesn't. <laughs> uh, the Baker's doesn't. Uh, all these floats, and we were kind of just talking to uh, uh, Clark Brennan about the everything had a number, you know, pun with it. Yes. Except for Bacamore. Except for the one, and I'm not. We're not trying to get them in trouble. No, we no, just, no, no, you no, know, no. everything is amazing though, and they're they're so creative. We t I asked him about the theme, and he said, you know, we just sit around and sit and talk yeah. it out. And I'm always impressed by the themes, how far they go, and how good they are. And we we were talking with the king as well. He's amazing. He's great. He's great. He I was really just have so much to say, fun. very very just down to earth and kind, and said he's had a great time. So we expect to see him back for more future Mardi Gras. It's his first one here, and we've had a number of floats that we haven't that we got missed. to talk yeah. about. We missed but, Holman uh, one and a bunch of other ones. Yeah. But this is good. Of course, you know what a baker's dozen is. Yes. Well, Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh huh. A baker's dozen is. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, it's right on your card. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. I was looking at the band. All right. Uh, Thurgood Marshall. I don't blame you. Thurgood Marshall Middle School. Marching Bulldogs. Middle School. Wow. They, they got that They got that energy. And these are younger kids than those high school kids. That's amazing. We've only got two floats left in this parade. Wow. That's really flown by. Let's listen to Thurgood Marshall Middle School Band. Here they go.
Glad you enjoyed the Thurgood Marshall Middle School Band. We have the Seven Wonders of the World. And you know them all, don't you? Oh, yes, by heart, definitely. I'm not going to read off this card where it's pre-written for me. <laughs> you can? <laughs> okay. How so, many have you been to? Um, I'm looking at them. I don't think I've been to. Oh, I've been to the Eiffel Tower. That's, I've been to the that's, Eiffel that's, Tower, the Coliseum. Oh, here we go. Chichen gonna Itza. Make me feel not traveled. Um, uh, Petra, the Machu Always. Picchu, and the Great Wall of China are on my bucket list along with the Taj Mahal. Well... We'll have to check some of those off, won't we? I'm going to try. What a cool flow, too. Look at this one. It's beautiful. This oh, could be the eighth wonder of the world. Bacchus? <laughs> this flow. <laughs> oh, so they got a little bit of everything. That's a fun one. And hey, we are getting close to the end. It's so yeah, we only have one more float to go. It's be been a fun the end, night. They man. are offloading. It's been a good time. Yeah. I really thought, like, okay, how long is it going to take? Am I going to be able to. You know, because this is my first chance, like, getting to do this with you and cover this. And but first, you've been to a lot of parades, though. I, I've been, oh, yeah. And also, this has been a, I've been to almost every parade out there right, that even just this season alone. So it's been really fun leading up to this moment. But, I, you know, didn't know what to expect. And I have to say, this has gone really well. So this is float 31. And, you know, there's only 32 so we are so close so to that end. quick math, just one left. Just one left. Man, you're not I know. Please welcome from Greenville, Mississippi, the Greenville High School Marching Band. Yeah. We, we always hear Chris in the background <laughs> uh, saying it before we get to it's it. It's a good bat. You know, it's good to just make but sure we're we in have, the right yeah. place. The Greenville High School Marching wow. Band. Wow. Greenville, Mississippi. All right. This is what I like to see. Let's listen to it. Closing out with our last float. Chris is yelling to it to the audience. 16 candles. Um, I saw this movie in the movie theater. You probably wow. saw it on television. I love this movie. I did it's not see it movie. in the theater, but I love this movie. The 1984. 1984. Yeah. 1984 wow. John Hughes. It was a coming of age movie. We had so many of these. But boy, it had a lot of big stars in it. Molly Ringwald. Anthony Michael Hall, they're throwing candles for the 16 candles. I love that. And the energy has not stopped, obviously. 32, the 32nd float. We are at the end of the floats coming into the convention center. Another really beautiful float. But the energy is still completely up as the crowd cheering and celebrating all these riders. What a great ride this has been. And whenever I hear Molly Ringwald, I always think of one of my favorite bands in town, the Molly Ringwalds. <laughs> They are a great cover band. They do a lot of 80s songs. Uh, they're just fun, but they get their name from the famous Speaking Molly of Ringwald. cover band, we had Mojo opened up earlier for great. everybody yeah. who was in here, and they were phenomenal. So shout out to them, really keeping the crowd energized as they waited for the floats to and run And then, of course, through. the big band to come up is going to be Chicago. We're going to take a quick break and come back for the close of our show on Bacchus 2024. Don't go anywhere. More to come when the crew of Bacchus 55th Parade and Rendezvous returns on WWL Louisiana. I'll see you on the river walk on Monday morning. 